Non-cashiers of Reddit. What's the it didn't scan? So it must be free her 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 of your profession? I work in IT. Anytime something breaks on the computer it's he he. Oh no. Guess I have to go home. Quote. Every. Single. Time. The lady that draws my blood said that she was tired of people calling her a vampire. If I can't fix a random ass problem on someone's PC. I get so do I get a new one her her, so often it hurts. Travel Money Bureau. Every time I am checking if some notes are legit or not. It's they should be fine I printed them this morning. Har de har har. I recently went through U.S. Customs and the officer asked me the standard, do you have cash more than $10,000 on you? Question. I responded. I wish. H-U-R-H-U-R-H-U-R. -h 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 Her response. If I had a penny for everyone who cracked that joke in front of me, I'd have the $10,000 by now. I totally deserve that. At Starbucks. We have categories and buttons for all the drinks. When we get a new drink, there is a new button but no one tells us where the button is. It is either in with normal lattes or frappuccinos or it's under the seasonal category on the opposite side of the screen. So when a customer orders a new or special drink, we go on a wild goose chase for the button that seems to not exist. The customers will say, oh you can't find it. How about you make it and just let me take it? My boss just tells us to ring them up for a basic drink and make the special one until the button is added. The button is never added. I work in a call center. I have to ask, was there anything else I could help you with at the end of the call? Yes, bring me a coffee with that. Make the sun shine again. Got the winning lottery numbers? Quote. Yeah. What's your number? You have a sexy voice. I just ignore them now and wish them a good day. I work in IT. Should I just turn it off and on again? Yes, yes you should. Stocked shelves at a grocery store for a few months in college and some guy was angry because he had been in line for a few minutes and no one was there to ring him up. He found me and asked what was going on and I kindly told him I'd go grab a cashier to check him. Out and he goes, no it's fine, I can just leave with my stuff. I mean, I don't have to pay if no one's gonna wait on me, or something like that. I laughed sarcastically with a deadpan face and told a cashier there were customers waiting. They didn't pay me enough to stop him if he tried. Administrative worker here. Not from customers, but from literally anyone that doesn't work in an office. So you get paid to do nothing? Single quote. Bike. Bicycle. Messenger. You're on a bike. This should be delivered before next week. Her her. Also every year during the Tour de France. You're lost buddy. All asterisk asterisk f seeking asterisk day long. I work with a lot of graphic designers. It's not that asterisk I asterisk want the logo bigger. It's the two idiots above me making me insist upon it. I am so sorry. So, what's the matter with you? You tell me, you're the doctor. Cake decorator here people would come pick up their orders and jokingly tell me I spelled the name on the cake incorrectly. They would watch me get upset with myself and offer to fix it. Then tell me they were just kidding. Edit thanks for the gold. My next cake shall be done in your honor. Waiter here. Can I get you guys anything else? Quote. Yeah. A boatload of cash. Quote. Or alternatively. A wheelbarrow? I'm a veterinarian. Some clients do actually say, if you really loved animals, you'll treat them for free right? Quote. Vet tech here. Whenever I take a patient's temperature, Aren't you going to at least buy her dinner first? Quote. When I worked at a ski shop setting up snowboard rentals I'd ask how they wanted their stance. Regular or goofy. So I could set the bindings up. At least three times a week. For the six months a year we did rentals. For the four years I worked there. 
I heard from dads, well he rides regular, but he's pretty goofy ha ha ha. By the end of my time there I never even bothered with a fake chuckle anymore. I just didn't have it in me. <laughs> giving out any free samples today. Sir, if I did that, it's a bank robbery. <laughs> As a church musician, I've heard things like, how does it feel to have the largest organ in town? Quote, I work for a major spirit company and at least once every day the pubs I'm calling on will say, got any free bottles? And then when I say, no, unfortunately not, in the nicest possible way, they will make the rest of the call really shitty. Mail carrier here. You can keep the bills. Her her her. I serve banquets. I've had many middle-aged men say the same exact joke to me when serving their cream of chicken with wild rice. How do you tame wild rice? Quote, I usually play along but the last time it happened I told him the answer and he was fucking bewildered. <laughs> Selling lottery tickets. I am like what numbers would you like? Everyone be like the winning ones. Bruh. Work and payroll and people like to joke with me to add a zero at the end of their pay. I say I'll do it. But put one of their middle numbers onto mine and it's funny to see their gears turning. So can you come look at my car? Mechanical engineer. I know nothing about cars. As a graphic designer I hear from non-professionals come on. It's just two button clicks. Also from clients make the logo bigger. I used to be in the beer industry, selling to supermarkets, and I'd get, you can just load that pallet into my truck, every day. Now I'm in the elevator industry and about once a week I get, I bet that has its ups and downs. <laughs> Dentist. It hurts twice when I come here. The first time during the appointment and the second time when I take out my wallet. Or alternatively, the less I see you, the better I am as you're. Industrial engineer. You mean imaginary engineer. Yuck, yuck, yuck. At my old job we decided to change our department to operations engineering because everyone was so sick of hearing that same fucking joke. I work in print, and we regularly get changes to stuff after we've already printed it. These clients are shocked that, that we charged them for the first batch that was bad, even though it was approved and completely finished. Just because you don't need it now doesn't mean it's free. We also have a client who will order 500 flyers for an event. Use 200 and then try to get a credit for the remainders he didn't use. <laughs> Worked in the casino guest rewards. You sign up you get perks of some sort ours was a small amount of PTS. To use towards slots then change to some stuffed animal. I know. We've all hated that idea. But if we ran out or the system was acting weird it was. Well guess you gotta give me X amount of money. The other one after asking. Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah point me to the winning machine followed by the. Fakest laugh of my life. I will never attempt another joke as long as I live. I have two from previous jobs. First. I did maintenance for a campground which involved emptying tanks occasionally. Every single time I rolled up with the pumper. Wow, that must be a shitty job ha 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 ha. Quote, it was already the worst part of an otherwise decent job and this just made me want to scream. Back in their face. Second, I delivered beer for a year. If anyone saw me carting it into the bar. Hey my truck is unlocked. Just put it in there. I already hated that job more than anything else in my life and I couldn't even bother to crack ya. Fake smile for those ones. I program PLCs for industrial facilities. The job title is Automation Engineer. Either I get asked to make websites. Or to check someone's car. Damn people. My so is a psychologist when she tells this to people there is never an instance of someone not going, you got lots of potential patients here, heard her. Quote, every time I roll my eyes so hard they fall back into my skull. But somehow she always managed to give a polite chuckle. 
research chemist, can you make drugs he he he? Yes, yes I absolutely can. No, I will not. Go away. Under the table IT work. Mostly friends and friends of friends. Can you hack the dollar S-O-M-E-G-O-V-E-R-N-M-E-N-T-A-G-E-N-C-Y? Quote. Usually the DMV. Thankfully most of the work I do is only with people I know very well these days so I don't hear it anymore. But when I took jobs from everyone I possibly could just to make ends meet some years ago it got fucking tiring to hear. Web developer. Come on. Deceptively complicated change that looks simple. Shouldn't take you so long. Quote. Bitch. You are not a web developer. You have no idea how long writing code takes. You don't get to tell me how long it should take. Only I get to do that. Also, just because something looks simple doesn't mean it won't take hours to implement. As a librarian, I'd love to never hear another unfunny joke about the Dewey Decimal System as here there's a lot more to the profession than that. And no one ever has anything original or genuinely amusing to say about it. I worked at a branch campus library for my alma mater. What do you mean you haven't read this book to tell me what it's about? What do you even do it here all day? Asterisk not read obscure textbooks about topics I'm not required to study. That's for sure. Asterisk. When I worked at a winery. This must be the best job in the world. Read. You get to sit and drink wine all day. Asterisk yeah because I'm totally allowed to guzzle half the stock while I'm on duty. S asterisk. When I worked as housekeeping in a hospital. Can you come do that at my house? I don't even do this at asterisk asterisk my asterisk 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 house. So no asterisk. When I worked for the post office. You can keep the bills. Bring me anything good today. Is there a check for a million dollars in there? Asterisk no thanks, I don't know. I didn't open it, how tf should I know that? Asterisk. And my husband the teacher gets a lot of summers off must be nice. Huh. Or, must be nice to only have to work nine months out of the year. Right? Quote. Are you analyzing me now, psychologist? The true answer is almost always. I am too apathetic about you to care that much. At least when it isn't a patient. I don't have one like that exactly. What I get a lot of is. Wow. That's like. Professional. Which is a massively backhanded compliment. I'm a fabricator. Professionally. Ultrasound tech. Male patients. Am I pregnant? Ha ha ha.